Something I wondered from the start of this project is what is the gyroscopic effects of a coaxial rotor system? I found the answer on a helicopter forum, but I wanted to experience it for myself. So here we have two bicycle wheels mounted on a common shaft, simulating my rotors. If I spin one wheel, as you would expect, you can feel the gyroscopic force resisting the movement I apply, and it's relatively hard to move. If I spin both wheels in the same direction, it's even harder to move and feels like it's twice as hard. If I spin the wheels in opposite directions, then the gyroscopic effects disappear and I can move the wheels as if they weren't spinning at all. I used to think that there was gyroscopic stability in coaxial rotor systems, but it seems to me that there isn't. As we know, in a spinning wheel, there is gyroscopic precession. This means that a force applied to the wheel acts 90 degrees later. From the arrows drawn, imagine a force exerted at these points and where they end up 90 degrees later, spinning in the opposite directions. You can see the forces are directly opposite each other and therefore cancel out. So gyroscopic precession is cancelled and so is gyroscopic force or stability. The forces are still present of course and act between the two wheels through the shaft. This means too violent of a movement could bend the shaft. As the rotor heads have teeter hinges this force cannot be transmitted to the shaft on the helicopter. Okay so what am I doing now? Well, I've mounted a fan on a stick and this is blowing air down onto the tail fins simulating downwash. If I lift the helicopter into the air, I can practice yaw. It's a good job I did this in fact because to my surprise I had the controls set up backwards. As many of you will know, in a helicopter or an aeroplane the pedals work in the opposite direction to what you would expect. It works opposite to how a bicycle would steer and many other vehicles. But I need to keep it functioning the way aircraft does, backwards or not. I need to practice this control to build some muscle memory. I understand that the downwash will be much, much stronger than my electric fan, but the principle is the same. Here's some excitement for you. Unboxing the radiator. It's a Honda Civic car radiator I bought, all aluminium and only weighs 1.5 kilograms dry and 2.7 kilograms wet. I've got to mount the radiator somehow and haven't decided whether to have it horizontal or following the angle of the frame. I plan for a belt driven fan coming off the centrifugal clutch and if I mount it at an angle then the cowling would be larger to suit. To carry out some short tests, I probably won't need the fan, so I might just do what's easier for now. I'm slightly concerned about the CG, which is already half a degree towards the rear. I could possibly have the battery on the front to help the balance. Otherwise, it will be shifting the pilot position forward. Bye.